A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In an unprecedented move, King Charles III is set to embark on an 11-day royal tour of Australia and Samoa, all while navigating the complexities of his ongoing battle with cancer. The 75-year-old monarch, who has been diagnosed with an undisclosed form of the disease, will be accompanied by a team of medical professionals to ensure his safety and well-being throughout the trip. This journey, scheduled from October 18th to October 26th, marks Charles's first official visit to a Commonwealth realm since his coronation on May 6, 2023, following the passing of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. Despite his health challenges, Charles has made the bold decision to pause his chemotherapy treatment for the duration of the tour, a choice that has raised concerns among palace aides and his wife, Queen Camilla. Insiders reveal that this decision has led to a sense of panic within the royal household, with many fearing that the king is taking unnecessary risks by prioritizing public engagements over his health. A source close to the situation stated, Charles has sparked genuine concern among senior palace aides, and his wife he is dicing with death by putting his chemo on hold to do this trip. To mitigate the risks associated with his health, Charles will travel with two doctors who will monitor him around the clock. This decision, described as a sensible precaution, comes after extensive discussions between the king and his medical team. The itinerary for the tour has been carefully crafted to allow for adequate rest, including designated rest days and the absence of evening engagements. The royal couple will arrive in Australia at night and attend a state dinner upon their arrival in Samoa. The king's itinerary includes high-profile engagements such as visiting the iconic Sydney Opera House and participating in a community barbecue, showcasing his commitment to connecting with the Australian people. However, plans for a visit to New Zealand were scrapped on medical advice, highlighting the delicate balance between royal duties and health considerations. In addition to the medical support accompanying him, Charles will have an emergency supply of his blood on hand, a precautionary measure reminiscent of arrangements made for his late mother during her travels. This ensures that should a transfusion be necessary, a match is readily available. Charles's health journey has been closely monitored since his diagnosis, with regular chemotherapy sessions taking place weekly. His first public engagement after resuming royal duties involved a visit to a cancer care center alongside Queen Camilla, emphasizing his commitment to raising awareness about the disease. While the king has shown resilience in the face of adversity, he has also expressed regret over not being able to visit New Zealand, citing doctor's orders as the reason for the change in plans. His daughter-in-law, Kate Middleton, recently shared her own health journey, having completed a course of preventative treatment after cancerous cells were discovered during surgery. As King Charles prepares for this landmark tour, the royal family remains hopeful that the trip will proceed smoothly despite the underlying health concerns. Buckingham Palace has reassured the public that the king's well-being is the top priority, with close monitoring and support from medical teams both in the UK and abroad. This tour not only marks a significant moment in Charles's reign, but also serves as a testament to his determination to fulfill his royal duties in the face of personal challenges. As the world watches, the royal family is poised to navigate this delicate balance between duty and health, with the hope that the king's strength and resilience will shine through during this remarkable journey. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.